Hello, okay, next tutorial. This tutorial is going to be another one of my quick tip type videos. I say quick, it's probably going to be quite a long video, but um, just like I taught you guys how to block out your eyebrows, I'm going to show you guys how to apply a plain latex ball cap. Well, any kind of latex ball cap, yeah. <laughs> so every time I say, I'm going to pop a link here and here, that kind of thing, like I do on my eyebrows, um, I can now link you to this video because a lot of people seem to like, want to know more in depth rather than just seeing at the beginning of a tutorial how to do it. So. Here we go. So I'm using plain latex ball caps. I make them myself. Um, you can buy them most places. If you wanted to, you can buy them from my website. Completely up to you guys. But I make them with the edges super thin so they blend off into the skin. So for this, all you need, literally all you need, is obviously a plain latex ball cap. Um, I use Pro Stick. You can use Spirit Gum to stick them down. And obviously you need liquid latex and scissors. Just so you obviously you can cut the ball cap into shape because I don't make my ball caps with a specific hairline because I like to use them for different things. For example, some tutorials I like them to cover my ears and I wouldn't be able to cut that in, would I? Otherwise, if I didn't have the edges on. Um, a lot of people do put them on and then mark the line and then cut them off. I prefer a little bit more hands-on approach. I apply my ball cap and cut it gently around my hairline where I want it to go, but I'll show you how to do that. So first thing I'm gonna do is get my hair out of my face. So if you've got long hair, I mean, I don't bother pinning my hair back. I just apply my caps because they're quite strong and it flattens my hair down. If you've got long hair, um, it depends. There are different ways of doing it. I, the way I do it when I'm applying it on a model with long hair is I literally wave the hair all the way around with, with a lot of uh, hair gel, just flatten it down. And with the middle, I just pin, use pin curls. So I curl the, the hair. It's a bit difficult to describe. Um, you could just literally wrap the hair around going in one direction all the way, but you might end up having a lump on top, which is why I, I curl the hair under it but I'm sure you guys have your own methods <laughs> so let's start then um, I'm going to start just applying my ball cap just in general and I can adjust it once I've got it on so there we are so my by using my plain caps I can see that I, there's no pigment in them so I can see through them and see where my hairline is so I know exactly where to cut so I don't want to go like more than maybe give it an inch and an inch and a half before my hairline because I don't want it to be too close so yeah, so I before even going around my ears, I literally cut off the excess because I can see here, whoop, I can see how much I do not need. Um, not going too low down because obviously you want to get the back of your hairline in. Um, but yeah, you just know it, it's easier to work when you can see, or well, it's easier to work with when you've got less to cut off. So I'm just going to cut around my hairline before I start cutting into my ear. Well, the ear, the cutting into my ear, you know what I mean. There we go. When I cut the pieces off my ball cap, I always keep the spare bits until I've finished applying my ball cap because if ever, for example, you cut into the ear or you cut here and it splits up, or if you pull it too tall and it splits, you can always patch them with the edges. By you just literally apply it over the lat, over the the rip, and you can apply latex around the edge to to patch it. But that's just something that's hopefully this won't happen this time. But if it does, I'll show you. <laughs> and please, please be careful. I know you guys know, but just be careful with scissors when you're cutting this close to your face. Just pull it away a little bit. So yeah, for the ears, I'm going to cut not the centre of my ear, just slightly off uh, up to the tip point of my ear. And then, well, you'll see what I do because hopefully it will just snap back to itself behind my ear. Okay, so you've got like this little bit of sideburn area going on here. <laughs> so you've got this little bit overlapping your ear now. So the idea is I can start here at the bottom, say, of the sideburn, and I can just cut it closer and closer to this area here and taper it around. So then I'm left with that. So it curves around the top of the ear, and then I can just trim this to where I need it to be. I don't need it to be that long, so I'm just going to take a bit more of that out. So now I've done that side, I can just copy the exact same method on this side. So there we are. So I've got basically a swimming cap. <laughs> so yeah, so now I'm just going to peel it back ever so slightly. There we go. So I can see my hairline. I'm going to take some cotton buds. I'm not going to show you that. So cotton buds. And I don't, you could use brushes for this, but Pro Stick is a nightmare to get out of brushes without using the cleanser. So yeah, so I'm going to apply that, a thin coat of that, all the way around my hairline where I want the ball cap to stick down. And I can just flap it back down after a couple of seconds when it starts to go tacky. And the idea is to make it as taut as you can. So do one side first, just stick 
that down, hold it in place, and then you can pull the other one and stick that down as well. It, it does help to get it taut, because but you'll get most of the tautness from the back, but I'll do that in a bit. Just to be safe, I tend to hold these down for a good minute or two, just to make sure it's fully, fully stuck. You'll know when it's stuck, because you'll be able to feel how taut it is. But yeah, so that's that stuck down. Now it's for the back of the ball cap. Now it's going to be super difficult for me to describe to you how to do it on yourself. Um, when you do, I, during my tutorials I don't, I literally, because the ball cap's so taut on the front, I can just cut my, the back of my hairline and it snaps into place and it just fits really well, so I just apply glue on the back of my neck. If you're doing it on someone else, it depends on the head shape and how tall the ball cap is, but the idea is that you would apply, once you've cut this to shape around the hairline, like you have the front here, you would apply a layer of glue here, a spirit gum, for example, or pro stick, and you get the model to look back, stick the ball cap down, put it fairly tall, not too tall, stick it down as long as you can for maybe one or two minutes as you decide, and then when they look forwards, so when they've got their head back, when they pull their head forward, it pulls the ball cap taut, so you get rid of all of the ridges, so like, Actually, I haven't got any yet. There's one. It, get, it gets rid of all that when it's tall. It completely makes it hide, and it just conforms better to the head shape. But as I said, for this, for the purpose of this, I'm going to do it just as I do normally. I'm just going to cut to my own hairline around the back of my own ball cap. Because I know a lot of you out there might be doing it on yourself like me. I don't know. But yeah, it literally snaps into place because it's so tall, like a swimming cap. So if I wanted to, I don't think I need to, but I can apply some, with a, with a cotton bud again, some glue underneath there and just keep, leave it as it is. Depends how long you want to do it. And if you're doing it at full ears, like covering your ears, I mean, you do exactly the same way. You just you cut straight down here and across. But yeah, so then it's just a case of the blending. Okay, so liquid latex as a whole does not blend. You cannot blend liquid latex on its own. You have to add something to it. So I'm going to use liquid latex, as always. <laughs> like if you're wearing a plastic board cap, for example, you'd use acetone to blend the edges. Yeah, but you can't with latex. So I ramble on. I'm going to take a regular sponge don't use one you want to keep because you won't be able to salvage it trust me it's you can't get latex out of itself so <laughs> um yeah sponge and some liquid latex now i use pure undiluted liquid latex completely undiluted so it's as strong as it comes so i'm literally going to dab that on no real harsh lines try and just stipple it that's why it's so good to use a sponge and not a brush or anything because then it dries with no line because that's what you're trying to get rid of on the ball cap the edge the line so i'm going to do this all the way around here I don't need to do my neckline, but obviously you would if you were doing it on someone else, or you could probably do it on yourself. Bit difficult to get the back of your head, but you might have to get someone to help you. <laughs> but I'm going to do that, give it five minutes in between each layer. I'm going to do about four to five coats, basically until when I run my finger around the edge, there's no seam. So there we go. So as you can see, all of my edges are blended. Yeah, <laughs> so I like to give it 10 to 15 minutes to dry completely before I go in painting anything and yeah. Um, because obviously you don't want the edges to flip up or anything so once it's dried you know it's completely secured and everything's going to be kept in place um you depending on how you i mean i've used ball caps in many different ways in my tutorials i've used watercolors on them you can use makeup on them latex is pretty good the only thing latex isn't great for is applying a powder like for example an eyeshadow or something like that it's not going to work very great on latex um very great that's, that's brilliant English. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, as I said, you, you can use most creams and foundations. And yeah, I mean, the Crayola and TV paint sticks are great on these things if you're going to obviously blend it into your own skin. But yeah, you guys know what you're doing with ball caps, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, that's my hopefully quick tutorial teaching you guys how I apply my ball caps. I really hope it was helpful to some of you guys out there. And I hope that this makes some of my other videos where I wear ball caps a bit more easy to understand. But yeah, so if you like it, please make sure you know, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. Yeah, so until next time. Bye.